We've had a number of requests on applications for the AccuSled and exactly what is it used for and what can be done with it. The AccuSled is nothing more than a piece of half inch thick aluminum plate which has been anodized and it has four roller bearings on its base which ride on the AccuSlice track. On this plate we have a bunch of T-slots going both directions and then a bunch of tapped holes and these holes are all tapped to quarter inch 20 thread per inch threads. And these are used for attachment of screws that can hold various clamps and jigs or that these hex head uh, quarter inch 20 thread per inch uh, screws also slide in the T-slots. So you can use these to mount, you know, you know angle brackets such as these or this, uh, various clamps such as the AccuSlice clamps or even clamps made by Rockler and other companies can be used uh, on this AccuSled, just using the appropriate uh, screw to attach it. And you can use this to make various jigs uh, for custom applications. One of our first applications of the AccuSled was the development of the AccuSlot system for cutting Celtic rings. And this was shown in a previous video. One of my plans has been to use the AccuSled to cut some small logs, both cross-sectional cutting of the logs as well as longitudinal cutting of the logs. And I'll be using a variety of clamps that I'll custom make to hold the log to the plate and then do the cutting. So that will be the purpose of this video is to show applications of the AccuSled for cutting logs. Okay, this shows the setup I did here. I have a couple of this uh, angle iron. Uh, I bolt it to the table at a slight angle. And I have my log, which I'm going to reposition now to get a little more heat out of it. And then I have this strap clamp, which is going to go over there and clamp on, on here. Okay, I'm repositioning my clamp here, so just, just a hex head nut. on it. The log is being held pretty steady now. this first piece off just to square it off and then I'm going to cut a bunch of quarter inch thick slabs. And there's uh, six pieces we cut off there, quarter inch thick. And so we'll make this into something, probably a tabletop. I'm going to change it a little bit. I'm going to try and get a steeper angle. Maybe I'm almost like almost 45 degrees. So let me uh, remount this thing, change the clamps, and we'll give that a try next. Okay, I've moved my clamps, and I have an angle here. I'm right around. Right around 50 degrees. I mounted my first clamp, clamped it in place. And 
my second clamp and my strap clamp. Set my log on here. And we'll use this clamp. You probably see me dusting this off pretty frequently because I'm doing that if sawdust gets down in the roller bearings here it tends to clog them up and it starts getting a little rough cut. So if you start seeing a rough cut it means those bearings are getting clogged up with sawdust. So just dust them off and they'll be fine. I'm limiting the uh, extent of this log now. I've changed the angle to 30 degrees and uh, I strapped it. I'm just got enough to get a couple cuts out of this board or out of this log. So to summarize the cutting of the log on the Accu sled, I cut a number of pieces at about a 10-15 degree angle. And I cut some at a 50 degree angle. And then finally I cut these boards at a 30 degree angle. Okay, another application here. I took my uh, AccuSled and I mounted some L brackets on it and I screwed it to the same log and we'll do some uh, horizontal cuts on the log, stripping off a couple pieces, see what it looks like. So I'll give that a try. I made a bunch of slivers there, uh, 50 thousandths of an inch thick. Like all these pieces here were all 50 thousandths inch thick. I'm sure you can make veneers off a log. Then I made some other pieces uh, 100 thousandths and a quarter inch thick. So it's just a matter how you mount the log using various clamps various jigs. In this case I used two L brackets and I actually screwed the log to the L bracket. That worked pretty well. 